तत्कणेशय विमे वक्रकुंदय धीम तो दि प्रचोदया ओं तत्परंपरिया विमे ज्ञानलिंगीश्वराय धीम तो गुरु प्रचोदया ओं योग महर्षि दत्स्वा गीतानंद गुरु गुरु महाराज की जय योगे चित्त पदेन वाचन मल शरीर से चायक योपाकोत प्रवर मुनून पतंजलि प्राजलेन तोस्म अत साधन पाद सत्वशुद्धि सौमन सेकग्रेयंद्रियजय आत्मदर्शन योग्यवा थ्रू द प्यूरीटी वि अटेन फिटनेस फॉर चीरफुलनेस वन पॉइंटेडनेस सेंसरी मैस्टरी एंड द अबिलिटी ऑफ सेल्फ विटनेसिंग दिस प्यूरीफिकेशन अट ऑल लेवल्स इड्यूस इज अ सात्विक नेचर क्रिएटिंग अ प्लेजेंट एंड चीरफुल मेन्टल एटिट्यूड saumanasya the mind becomes fit for one point of concentration ikagraha a semblance of control over the senses develops as mastery of the sensory apparatus indriya jaya develops the necessary fitness yogyata to see ourselves as we are manifests we become fit for reverential witnessing atma darshana of our real self the atman This vision dawns only when the vehicle is fit, when all impurities are burnt away. In the yogic approach to life, the mind and the heart work in tandem. A good, clear mind creates a good-hearted, good-natured person. Good-heartedness cannot exist within the ambit of a corrupted mind. As one becomes pure, sensory attachments weaken. ultimately fitness to receive the vision of the divine self the atma is achieved only the fit person adhikarin is worthy of the presence of the lord this cosmic vision of the atma is a secret vision of the self one must be fully fit to receive such a blessing please note that the word atma comes up once again in this sutra despite the fact that many authorities claim that maharishi patanjali never uses this word once swadharma is to make the effort to become an adhikarin a person fit for cosmic experience first works first as the prophet had advised if we don't work we won't achieve the goal many are too lazy to make any effort for their aspirations laziness is an enemy of all spiritual growth these same people then turn away from their aspirations deluding themselves by saying oh after all i never did really what i wanted i do not really deserve this and that be careful and be aware of this attitude without making an effort to be fit one cannot have the atma darshana that reverential and divine opportunity to witness the self in totality it is said if you take even one step towards god god comes running to you why is this that so many cannot even take the first step om loka samasta sukhino bhavantu